Okay, this is like hello YouTube and hello probably Facebook because um, I'm going to post it there as well. I'm not necessarily post it there, but probably link you there. Um, but one of my friends had the day off today and took a picture of the nice blue sky that we had this morning, to which I actually time framed, thankfully, and watched the sky go from blue to a whitewash, sort of like across the sky as the sun, you know, the sun side went white before the other side. Anyway. I posted something on Astro News, I think it was, on um, Facebook, mentioning about stratospheric sulphur aerosols and how the technology has been established from when volcanoes go off. And um, we know that the Parliamentary Act and regulations have been written, and the next stage is research. And do they know of any research that's going on to see if they'd admit if there's any research going on? And they kind of just said, no, well, no, nothing really, and I'd be very surprised, and this is the reason why you're s saying you're seeing stratospheric sulphite aerosols in the sky, and then sent me a video or a, a link about 2011 and a volcano going off, and like we all know that the volcano went off over England last year and the year before, I believe, it disrupted air traffic, hmm, yeah, disrupted air traffic, and there was not one cloud in the sky for them at periods of time when the volcano was going off actually. Hmm, funny that, not one plane in the sky, volcano erupting like no tomorrow, and perfectly clear sky, and yes, we did get hazy weird sunsets because all the stratospheric sulphite aerosols sit on the horizon when they drop to the surface of the planet. Hmm, yeah, okay. So, I'm sorry, stratospheric sulphite aerosols of course there's some in the upper atmosphere, and of course there's some on the horizon, but they are certainly are not causing half the shit that we have in the sky, right? At the end of the day, if the military are spraying stuff into the upper atmosphere, known as chaff, which um, some of the weathermen have actually spoke about, right, it would be a secret thing, okay? If our military was using some kind of um, technology, sorry, there's a train outside, some kind of technology that was going to disrupt the radar, it would be a secret mission. We wouldn't know about that, right? So that could be going on as well as the fact they're definitely fucking researching and so many people can see it who don't even know what geoengineering is, right? So, sorry, Atmosphere News, bullshit. Absolute shite. Um, I also had an email from someone I haven't heard from for a long while and, and mentioned Venus in transit. So I, I mailed them back, and um, like, what do you mean by Venus in transit? And he said something about um, ever since Venus has gone past the sun, as in such, or gone in transit, it's rained. And it is quite a good point. I know we're coming to the centre of the, the universe, and the sun's in high activity, and lots of things are out there. There's a few different alignments that are going on. Um, and I think that has had an effect on the weather, but I'm, I can't remember his take on geoengineering, if he's into it or not. But, um, yeah, Venus probably hasn't helped at all and, you know, probably has caused some of the weird weather that we've got. But, I'm sorry, the remainder of it is stratospheric sulphite aerosols that are being sprayed. Um, there's no link there. The, the link's down there. The link will be down there. I'll, I'll add a song. Um, and so my chemtrail song will be a while till I finish that. I've, I've got to write some some drums actually because the drums I'm using are crap um, it's going to be like a Sex Pistols number um, so we're going to put a time frame on the end and I don't know what song I might put Lemon Haze have some Lemon Haze next song is Lemon Haze okay peace love and light <laughs>